Hey, hey everyone, and uh, welcome in. It's a Monkey Mar. Before we get into today's video, please make sure you uh, click that subscribe uh, button, the bell for notifications, and of course, the like. A couple new articles came out regarding the Adam Dodell case and his accused murderer ivory hall so with that guys let's just uh, get into it all right let's give a little update on some more information that i found out about ivory hall the one who was with adam dodell at the atm and who was arrested for adam dodell's murder so chicago golden glove boxer and valedictorian arrested in connection with killing of alabama state student adam dodell aka bell a chicago golden glove boxer from inglewood in the 2018 tilden career academy valedictorian on scholarship at alabama state university was arrested this weekend in connection with the disappearance in death of fellow student adam dodell according to authorities so the Reverend Michael Flager of St. Sabina Church on the South Side, who has been a mentor to Hall, was shocked when he learned last week that Hall was a suspect in the killing. I really don't know this, what he's being accused of. I have not seen nor known that person. I don't know him. I do know that Ivory, who's the, a kind, who's gentle spirit, who's been faithful at church, who's always pushing himself as a student. That's the Ivory I know and that I believe in, Flager said. Reached by phone Sunday, Dow Dow's sister said the family is cautious about commenting publicly because they've received death threats from people in Chicago. That is absolutely horrible. They lose their son and their brother, and now they're getting death threats from people in Chicago, where Ivory Hall comes from. So during a vigil Thursday in Alabaster, Alabama, his mother, Miss Toya Cohill, addressed a large group that had gathered to release balloons in Dowdell's memory, saying she wouldn't wish what happened to her son on her worst enemy. Mm. Flager said he recently met with Hall, who had returned to Chicago, and advised him to go back to Alabama and turn himself in to authorities, which he did. So not only did Ivory Hall shoot and kill Adam Dodell and leave him behind the church where he's not found for a week, then he takes off back to Chicago where he's hiding out for a little while before he is told to come back and turn himself in which he did i really would like to know what caused this man young man to shoot and kill adam dodell some people have left some comments and i'm going to touch on those at the very end and see what your opinions and thoughts are but mm. so Flegger said, I've talked to him at length. He was back in Chicago for a couple, couple of days. I spoke with him and sought to pastor him and counsel him. And we contacted the police and said Hub is returning to Montgomery. He's in Alabama now. He, re he turned himself in. I've talked to him at length. He was back in Chicago for a couple of days. I spoke with him and sought to pastor him and counsel him. And we contacted the police and set up his return to Montgomery. He's in Alabama now. He turned himself in on Friday. He does have a lawyer. And now we've got to be sure we get all the information and all this stuff out of what happened. That's what's important now, Flegger said. So Ivory probably spoke to him and Ivory probably told him what went down or somewhat what went down. And he probably knows more than we know. I, I just don't understand how senseless this crime is going to turn out being over something that was short fused. And if you would have walked away and thought about it for 30 seconds, Adam Dodell would probably still be here with us today, in my opinion. So that's the new info on Ivory that he did take off to Illinois, but he did come back and turn himself in. Murder suspect Ivory Hall seeks reduced bond in slaying a fellow ASU student, Adam Dodell, a.k.a. Bell, the attorney for a 20-year-old Alabama State University standout student charged in the slaying of a fellow student is asking for a bond reduction. 
Ivory Hall, a Chicago native on scholarship at ASU, is charged with murder in the death of Adam Dodo. Montgomery and ASU police announced the charges against Hall Friday, and he has been held in the Montgomery County Detention Center since then. Few details have been released in what led up to Dodell's killing and Hall's subsequent arrest. The pair had been friends for about two years. Dodell's mother, Mrs. Toya Cohill, has said she does not believe Hall should have bond at all. Our sincere condolences are with the Dodell family. Although his death was tragic, we are confident that as the investigation progresses, the truth will be revealed and the innocence of my client will prevail, said Hall's attorney, Selma attorney Brandon J. Wooten. Ivory Hall is a good kid, an excellent student. $250,000 bond. Let's hit on a few points. So in the summer of June, Ivory Hall was arrested and charged with domestic battery According to Chicago police records, Hall allegedly damaged the personal property of an 18-year-old female and punched her with a closed fist in June of 2020. Hall and Dodell knew each other as friends for the past two years, according to Dodell's mom, Toya Cohill. At some point, Hall left Montgomery and went to Chicago, although Flegger said he wasn't sure when the two met on Monday. The same day Dodell's body was found, Flegger said. Hall's bond at the Montgomery County Jail is currently 250000 His attorney filed a motion Wednesday requesting that it be reduced, and Wednesday was yesterday. The motion argues that this amount is too high for Hall's family to afford, making it paramount to no bond. His attorney says the Alabama bail schedule recommend range for murder at 15000 to 150000 The motion goes on to argue that Hall is a scholarship student and is not a flight risk. The motion states Hall will accept any conditions the, of the bond. It is unclear when the court will rule on this motion and of course as soon as i know i will follow up on this motion for a reduction in ivory hall's bond so we've got the funeral for slain asu sophomore adam dodell planned for september 26 2020 alabama state university student and alabaster native adam dodell 22 will be laid to rest Saturday, September 26, 2020. Such a sad story. Dodell was last seen September 8, 2020 when he left his dorm room to go to an ATM. He was found dead six days later, less than a quarter mile from campus. He had been shot, according to Montgomery Police Department. And then we went to the Miss by Many. Hundreds showed at the vigil for Adam Dodell found dead near Alabama State Campus. His funeral service will be held at the Calera High School football field in Calera, Alabama, starting at 12 noon. The service is open to the public, Dowdow's mom, Mrs. Toya Cohill, said. Dowdow was in his second year at ASU after transferring from East Mississippi Community College. He was an inspiring special education teacher, Mrs. Toya Cohill said. He was also a middle child, an uncle, and the multi-sport athlete. He graduated from Montevallo High, where he played on the baseball, basketball, and football teams, in addition to running track. My prayers and thoughts go out to Adam Dodell's mom, family, and friends. I am very sorry for your loss, and this to me just seems completely, completely senseless. I have received comments on both sides of the spectrum. Some say he did nothing wrong to let him go, and some say that they don't think that he deserves to bond out before the court hearing. We don't know what happened and what they know that we do not know, but I do know that he was arrested for the murder of Adam Dodo, so they must know something. 
But go ahead, guys, and drop your comments and let me know what you're thinking. And I am going to stay on top of it. And with that, guys, it is a wrap. I want to thank you all for coming in. Thank you for watching. Please like or dislike, whichever you prefer, and a subscribe. Everyone have a good day or a good night wherever you are in the world. And stay vigilant. I am out.